Hugo, come. So, how do you like our terrace? This is really your house. <laughs> this is home. It's incredible. Come, come inside. Oh, it's big. It is. And it's only a small part of the palace. Oh, do you fancy some dates before we show you to your room? Dates? What is it? A fruit, Hugo. Can I? Come on. Sure, Your Grace. Please go easy, Hugo. Yes. I know this all looks pretty formal, but please, here I'm not Your Grace. I am the mother. I am myself, so be yourself. Yes. During the brighter days, all the people of Lacuna are one, united around the Child of Embers. So? I love it! Ha <laughs> ha! A bon vivant! Be careful, they're very rich. So where are you from? Guyenne. We fled the war and the plague. We came here hoping for a better life. And we heard of this island. You were right to come here. Let's keep going. You must be tired after this adventure. It's amazing. I know. Can't wait to see our room. Agnes, go get a room ready for two, please. Certainly, Mother. She's her mummy. No, it's symbolic. And these are our gardens. My favorite part. Splendid. Finally, they clean to the basins. Yes, aren't they nice? You're quite young for such a long trip. Where are your parents? Mummy is somewhere, but Dad was killed. By who? How? Uh, Hugo. Victor, don't be so military. <laughs> you know me. Come next to me, Hugo. Yes. You see those plants? Most of them are not from here, but we managed to make them grow anyway. And they look great. Thanks to a lot of love and care. We are just like them, you know. We drink water. <laughs> And we need a good soil, love, and care. This land is open to you, if you wish to keep growing here. But of course, the big sister will decide. Right, Amicia? Thank you so much. Those were kind and true words. Let me show you something else. Victor? Of course, my Come, love. Hugo. The land here is strong. The child of embers breathes life into it. We created the brighter days to celebrate him. In the hope he'll come back to us, as it is foretold. To us, his mother and father. And to the people. We pray to him, not as a god, but as our long sleeping child. We love and revere him, to revive his flame. Amicia, one stone. It's the bird. Wait, would you pray with me? You can do it in your own way. Sure. Hugo? I'll pray to the bird. A humble flame to light his night. And may he rise, a sun, a sun, so bright. So bright. So bright. Thank you. I appreciate it. Shall we go? Uh, sorry, Mother. Could we take some time to pray for our father? Hugo? Yes. Of course. I understand. I'll wait for you. Come when it is done. Dear father. Hugo, is it really your bird? Take a good look at it. Oh, yes. I feel it. It has the same beak. And I just know it. Good. Very good. Let's go back to them. And no word about that to anybody here, all right? It's our secret. I know. Is everything ready for tomorrow? Yes. The new robes look wonderful. It will be perfect. Excuse me. Oh. Shall we go? Sure. I must say, we appreciate that you paid homage to the child so willingly. Every child bears the future of the world. One child can change everything. That is very true. 
Here it is. Go on. This is too much. Nonsense. You're our guests. There's a good dinner being cooked. A real dinner, Amicia! Shh! Oh, we'll need to get you some new clothes. It looks like you had a long journey. Are you going to kill Arno? Hugo! He will be judged. All those who do bad things are. And he did a lot. But... You will have the chance to testify if you wish to do so. But enough of that. We'll leave you to rest. Tomorrow, feel free to enjoy Lacuna. Brighter days are the best time for it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> My lady? Beds are great. Try jumping on them. Yes! <laughs> <laughs>